That's an indication of bruising on the brain. Dr. Anne McKee, a neuropathologist at Boston University School of Medicine, has been working on a brand new area of research on the brain that's provided physiological proof of brain disease in athletes who have suffered concussions. And whose brain was this? Well, this was Walter Hilgenberg. Walter Hilgenberg was a former Minnesota Viking who died last year of Lou Gehrig's disease at age 66. His wife donated his brain to research because he had so many severe concussions during his career. We do have evidence that he did have trauma to his brain. Dr. McKee says these slides, cross-sections of his brain, show that Hilgenberg was suffering from a devastating degenerative brain disease called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. It was first seen in boxers and can only be diagnosed after death when the brain is dissected. You can see it in the dark brown pigment, which shows an abnormal protein that kills off brain cells. A normal brain, that is an individual that uh, has, ha, does not have this injury or does not have any other condition, uh, you shouldn't see any of this dark brown pigment. It would be completely white. None of this brown pigment would show up. But you can tell that it was caused by trauma. This pattern of injury is only seen in trauma.